It is Shane Halter at first. We'll show you eight different other places for Shane by the time we're done a couple hours from now. Big lefty David Ortiz rolls one. Shane Halter, can he get a put out at every single position today? We'll find out as we go. Gets an assist there. And a man who will play all nine positions today to be a part of baseball history. Keeps it nothing, nothing. Shane Halter and Dean Palmer trade positions. Palmer going to play first, and now Shane Halter at third. He is two ninths of the way around his appointed rounds today. Shane Halter to play all nine positions. On the ground to third, and look who's got it. <laughs> it's Halter to Palmer. Now, Dean Palmer is uh, back from first over to third. Dusty Allen comes in to play first, and the human pinball now is in right field. That's Shane Halter. He is three-ninths of the way along the quest this afternoon. Of course, tomorrow could be a little bit different. As you now uh, check out Shane Halter moving to center and Rod Lindsay in right. And Rod Lindsay, as again, it's musical outfielders now. He's in the center. Wendell McGee moves from left to right to allow Shane Halter to get into the game, or stay in the game, we should say, in left, his fifth position today, on his way to the full complement of nine. Other changes to tell you about. Dusty Allen continues to be on the move. He's in left. Robert Fick stays in the game at first, and in today's edition of Where's Shane? We'll show you in just a moment. First, a pitch to Lee Croy. There he is. Well, there's oh. Shane. The ball got right by him in the left center. Shane's at short. The sixth position for a halter already today. On his way to nine. First hit for Lee Croy this afternoon. And now, would you believe Brad Osmus is at third? Because Shane Halter is going to be catching. Jose Macias is into the game at short, which is where Halter had been. Of course, he's also been at first, third, right, center, and left today. Now position number seven How on his way to nine. Huh? Well, Phil Garner, you've really done it now. <laughs> you promised Shane Halter he could play all nine positions. It's happening. And they've just announced it to the crowd. They cheer what they have been able to see for themselves here. Brad Osmus is going to be moved along here. Phil Garner will have to go to the uh, crib notes in his hat before too long. Can it drill him? No, he's not going to drill him. Bounced it up there instead. It's a walk. Now, do you let him keep going until you get one out? Nope. No, Phil Garner is going to end Halter's fun here. But I tell you, if, if this is it and Halter now pinballs to second, he'll have done it. He will officially have become the fourth man in Major League history to have played all nine positions. Well, Shane is now on the hook for a run, actually, if Lee Croy comes around to score. But Halter gets a nice ovation. The fans are into it. They, you know, I tell you what, the, and you know this better than I do, Gibby, the fans in Detroit, absolutely appreciate a guy who busts his tail all year. And what they're seeing here today is a guy getting recognized for having done that. He has been completely in the shadows. He's had some fun with us, with his teammates. He's been a good guy to have around. Never asked for anything. But today is rewarded with a share of baseball history. Defensive change for the Rangers here in the bottom of the fourth. Scott Sheldon moves in behind the plate for Bill Hasselman. And moving from behind the plate to first base, it'll be Scott Sheldon. Changes. Scott Sheldon, who was the first base, moves over to second. Catalanano, who was the second, moves over to first. And they have just moved Scott Sheldon to shortstop. Kelly Bransfell moves to second. We understand they're going to try to play Scott Sheldon in every position tonight. He's already played catcher first, second, now short. And there's Scott Sheldon moving around once again. He is now in right field. So he's been catching. He's been at first. He's been at second. He's been at short. Now in right field. But now another change. Scott Sheldon moves from right to left. Capital moves from center. I'll check that right to center. Capital moves from center to right. And there's the new left fielder, Scott Sheldon. As you see, last player to play all nine positions. Cesar Tobar, Minnesota, September 22nd, 1968. Sheldon's caught, played first, second. Short, right, center, left. He's only got a couple to go. First pitch swing, line bullet. <laughs> played by Gransfeld right there. Throw was easy right over the top, and here comes Scott Sheldon right now. Right to the mound directly. Johnny Oates coming out. He must be a heck of a guy. The manager to let him do this. Look at that. 
67 miles an hour. And that just goes to show you, you either got to be above the hitting speed at 97, 98, 99, or 100, or get below it. Sheldon moving over to third base to finish off the nine positions since the fifth inning. There's Andrew Warren. He will start the game in the left field today. 3 2 is slapped toward left field, sinking. Romine will come on to make the play. High fly ball toward left field. Romine backpedals. So Andrew in the starting left field gets two putouts here early in the game. He has moved to center field right now. The Tigers have uh, juggled up their outfield. So it'll be Romine in center. That'll be his second position play. Romine, by the way, is in right field. So that is his third position in the game. Started in left. We can check that off. And center. And now right. On our way to the bottom of the fourth. And Andrew Romine now has moved to third base. Swinging a pop-up foul, third base side, and wouldn't you know, Andrew Romine over, will make the catch. Andrew Romine now will play shortstop. Bouncer should be two. Machado, Romine, and a double play. 4-6-3, Romine involved in another out. Andrew Romine has gone to second base with Machado moving to shortstop. So Romine has the gear on, will check off catcher. There we go. Two left, pitch and first base. At least Romine's got a smile on his face right now. Yes, he does. One run game, and now Romine to pitch to Sano. Sano grounds to third. Fielded there. Out at first base. Candelario throws him out. That's it. <laughs> Going to first base now. Yeah, Brad breaking out the first baseman's glove. So Romine retires the only batter he faces. Well, it's official now. Andrew Romine will go to first base. He has now played all nine positions in the same game, and so you can check off every single box. He went from left center to right, third short to second. He caught, he pitched, and now first base. Bouncing ball to first, and how about this? Romine fields the ball and tags the bag for the out for the final out of the ball game. Right now, I'm just happy we won. Uh, I think it'll kick in a little bit when I go and sit down and celebrate with the guys in the locker room. But um, relief, uh, happiness, I mean, you name it, I'm feeling it right now. It's so much fun. 